What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very special product from Even Realities. It's their G1 AR glasses. I have been really excited about these, was very excited that I was able to get in touch with the company and get them to send me this sort of early pair to review for you all. I know a lot of you all liked the initial video where I was talking about the product and I'm excited to get into it. Really all I'm gonna do right now is give sort of my first impression of what it's like, like my first impression of putting these things on. Then I'm gonna take a week and kind of get used to these things before I do my full review for at least a few days. Uh, a lot of back and forth with the company, it's been a lot of fun. But anyway, the idea of these is, you know, AR, but in a glasses form factor, like what we've seen in the movies of old with science fiction. Um, this is the product right here. This is actually a charging case in here as well with conductive charging or inductive charging, whatever it's called. And that's the product. So yeah, I've got the app here, which I'm gonna go ahead and get fired up. And let's see what all I need to do. Update complete. Please put on your G1 now. Okay, here we go. Should I be nervous? I'm a little bit. Ooh, they're very comfy. What G1 will display? G1 won't disturb your view when you get a call or message or an upcoming event. Ooh, please refer to your phone and follow the instructions. Wow. Okay, this is wild. If you want to see more inf information, just raise your head up. Okay, please select an option on the phone to experience simulated scenarios. Okay, so experience a simulation of using head up. Let's do the dashboard. Hint, head up to see your dashboard. Whoa. Wow. All right, so, wow. 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 Let me, it's literally floating. Well, so, okay. I just have to say this. I've reviewed the X-Real Hair 2 Pro, whatever this is called, which is a cool idea. This is next level. Like, this is cool. What does the touchpad do? You can interact with G1 by using the touchpad. Next, we'll dive into various ways of interaction. It says I have 40% battery. I don't know. Whoa, here's my desk. That's cool. Dude, this is cool. I can't explain this to you. This is about two arm lengths away from me, floating in the sky right now. The font is pretty easy to read, and when you like put your head back down, it all just fizzles out. How's that look, huh? Sunnies. And there's my dashboard. I'm excited for this. And I'm gonna get back to you all when I've played around with this. And this is an exciting piece of tech. I'll see you on in a second. Holding the first eyewear ever designed to blend stunning aesthetics, amazing wearability, and useful functionality. At Even Realities, we continuously explore the human relationship with technology. How old is Ryan Reynolds? Right, so here's the thing. On this channel, as you know, I don't talk about, as much as I can help it, I don't like talking about specs and stuff. You can find those in other videos. I talk about products when I can, I try to be intentional with this, just talk about how I experience products, the way they make me feel, do they make my life easier, harder? Are they easy to use, difficult to use? That's what we talk about. So that's the lens, pun intended, that I'm going to look at Even Reality's G1 AR spectacles through. The first thing I'll say is, this is a very interesting piece of tech, honestly, as you probably know. This form factor holds a lot of cool tech and much like smart rings, how I'm continuously amazed by how small they are with the amount of tech that's packed into them. I would say the same about these glasses. I mean, wearing them, they're a little bulky as glasses go, but are flavorful. Like I don't think most people, and I've worn them out and about in public, no one has said anything about them other than like my mom saying, oh, did you get glasses? Meaning like she thought I bought these glasses because I need them for my vision. So that's interesting. And the fact that there is so much tech packed in is, it's just, it, it made my draw drop as you all saw when I first put these on. And I do think you need to experience them for yourself by putting them on. The fact that I have a heads up display while walking around with something that doesn't look like technology in and of itself is amazing. Right, I can go like this and see a recent text that I had, right? What is this one? Hey man, still down for tonight. That is so cool. And then just like that, it's gone. It fizzles out, it's gone. So I'm sitting at a coffee shop doing work. Do, oh, text message. It looks like I'm looking up to think about something. 
and I'm reading a text. That's my work, right? That's really cool. I think one could obviously make the argument that that's too much tech. Like, why do we need to have text messages literally floating in front of our faces? But I think the point of these is that this technology exists now, right? The company's already working on their next generations. They're working on potentially a color display, right? This has a green single monochrome display that floats in, your, in front of your head to cut down on weight, to cut down on bulk, all that stuff. They've made it as simple and as intentional as, as, as they possibly can with the hopes of packing in more and more tech as they go. I think that this is more the AR future that we are looking for and less, sorry, x real, but like, don't necessarily want to watch YouTube videos while I'm walking down the street. I can, but I don't want to. <laughs> and the idea of I am fully in my surroundings using these, even when I do this, even when the screen is in front of me, I can see through it. It's just text, right? And I think there's a lot of value in that. I think there's a lot of value in hands-free, right? I don't even have to do this to see a message. I just look a certain direction, right? I just look up and I can see, you know, the time, the weather, how many notifications I have. I can see some notes. If I'm walking downtown or riding a bike, I can have it all here, right? I can see my navigation in front of me and those things are really cool. And for that reason, I definitely recommend these. I'll say this, if you already wear glasses, prescription, this is kind of a no brainer. They look good enough that if the battery died in them, you could still wear them and look stylish. So I, I do think that, and I think because of their price point, it's a little bit more than prescription glasses. <laughs> already, right? So that's my one thing. For me, I don't need glasses, or at least I haven't my whole life, my now from the amount of time I spend looking at screens, but I don't need glasses. So when I wear these, people are like, why is he wearing glasses? And that's not a huge deal. People get new pairs of glasses all the time, right? But when I'm not in a mode to be taking advantage of this heads up display, I can easily choose not to wear them. Whereas someone who needs glasses, it makes a lot of sense. They have to have these on, right? And you can silence it, triple click on the side. You can silence it. So even if I do this, I can't see anything. And you can change the sort of like amount that you have to look up to see your display. I will say a con, and they could change this with software, I'm assuming, is there's the lowest amount, which is right there, just showed up, which is like, when I'm driving, like I'm right there and it pops up a lot while I'm driving. Not distracting, by the way. Just want to put that out there. It's not like I'm getting in wrecks out here because there's a screen. There's not a screen. It's just some text, right? Super cool. Anyway. And then the second is standard. There's three. There's low, standard, and high. Standard feels a little too high to look up. And then high is literally like looking at the ceiling, which is just kind of silly in my opinion. I will say this, they're already doing updates to make the product better, which gives me a lot of hope for them continuing to put out updates with feedback from customers, which I think is huge for any company to do that, especially a company that makes a cool specific kind of hardware that can then use software to make it better and better over time. Actual battery life, I have found by the end of each day, wake up at 6.30 and put them on. And then I think I was, I took them off at 7.30 or 8, and they were at 56% battery. So I think these can definitely last a full day. And the charger is the case. So for those of you who do wear glasses, you know, like when you don't wear them, you put them on your nightstand. Why not just put them in the case and let them charge? The case itself also holds a charge. The attention to detail here and like on the app, it even knows if the case is closed or open, if the glasses are unfolded or folded. It's pretty cool. Like those little pieces of tech they've put in here, which has been cool. So there's a couple, another question I had from, all right, so the actual battery life was Matt. Thank you, Matt, for that. Actual UI is Pizza King GT. Thank you for that. Uh, this is Ajani Amato. Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but how does the UI look in different light conditions? Super bright, super dark. Um, so 
you can do automatic, which it will change. I found it kind of stops with the light, which I don't love. I've just kind of kept it on the lower end, unautomatic set it myself. At nighttime, uh, it can be really bright and other people can see the green really showing up at nighttime. During the day, I haven't actually done full brightness in the daytime, but even still, I can still read it at like half brightness in the daytime. So hopefully that's helpful. And then yeah, navigation, so Commander Coup, Navigation literally just came out yesterday, but I did put in my work address and it's cool. It is cool. <laughs> I want to try it actual, actually try it out, walk around the neighborhood or something and see how it looks. But to answer y'all's questions, that's all you've asked, which is cool. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is definitely interesting tech. I think the product itself is good enough for you to purchase it now. I don't think it's wait till gen two. Like I think there's enough value here, again, especially if you already wear glasses. Prescription lenses, get those. Let these be your actual glasses throughout the day. Right, so some tiny little things I'll note, and that's literally because these are right in front of your eyes. You can see the area that actually shows the heads-up display. You can see it, and it's a little bit more noticeable than I... Th Honestly, I was surprised at how not noticeable it was. And then I was surprised at how noticeable it was. So it's really not a big deal. And honestly, I think for any like stranger looking at them, like that could just be a bifocal kind of lens if they even notice, which kind of have to get close or catch it in the right kind of light to notice that kind of thing. Ooh, another question I had from someone was, as a stranger, can I read what the glasses say? And it would be really hard to even catch a word. Like you can kind of see green popping up, but like, I'm not even getting it now. I'm gonna say no. Like you can kind of see hints of green and maybe some word, like the idea of a word, but it's really, I don't know. It's hard to explain. No, the answer is no. You wouldn't be able to read. You watching me couldn't read what they say. You can't read that, can you? Reflections on today. I had a lot of time at work today, but feeling mentally exhausted. That's one of my notes that I made. So back to this area here, the display area. It is a slightly different tint. It's more yellowed, which you really only notice like when I'm driving around, you can just see slightly different tint, which may bother some of you, maybe it won't. The last thing I'll say is in between that area and the regular rest of the glass is a hairline outline. And when your eyeball looks through it, it's a tiny bit blurry. And when I'm driving, I can go like this and make some things blurry around me. Not, oh no, I can't drive, but I'm doing it right now with my monitor. I'm making my face blurry. So about this big of a space at this arm's distance is blurry, which that's just a tiny thing. I don't even think it, most people would notice but I think because I've been wearing them for a couple weeks now, it's something I've noticed. So there's that. Another thing, I guess, a qualm is the tapping. I have found there's a certain way that helps when you're either tapping and pushing and holding or when you're tapping to double tap or triple tap or whatever to tap through notes or to tap through messages on this side. Because this is back here, it's not like a normal place that you tap. I have found that if you grab the area and then tap, that's the best way to ensure, and you kind of get used to like the distance your finger has to be. I found that's the best way to ensure the right tap. Cause I was kind of missing and getting a little frustrated with not hitting the right area. I just turned it on silent. Ooh. Oh, wow. Hold on. Silent activated. So that's another thing that has showed up in a recent before you just triple tap and then it would just stop working. You wouldn't know if you actually did it. Now it actually says silent, the little moon and stars. That's nice. And then activated. So anyway, it, it, it's a little finicky. You really kind of have to tap right on this. There's a little raised line. Tap right on that line to get the functions that you want. It is cool being able to see What's coming up on my calendar? That's probably the biggest thing that I like of the heads up display. Of course, the time, the date, the weather is nice. Just the, it just gives you the temperature and the status of the cloud coverage or whatever. 
I just, I, I wish and I hope there's a little more customization over here on the right side of the display. It keeps like half of the display, display are your notes that you make, your quick notes. So I wish you could maybe change that to your last recorded AI question answered or something like that. Or again, I wish you could answer text messages and that could be a feature in there too. But so I hope this has been helpful. I've tried to be as thorough as possible. As always, if you have any questions about these glasses, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to answer them or find the answer for you. You can check out their website, of course, link in the description. So check the link down there and grab yours. Unlike some other things I reviewed on this channel in the AR field, I think this is the most closely we've gotten to like AR of science fiction movies and things we've seen in the past where like Tony Stark, heads up display floating in front of you. Other people can't see it. It doesn't really look like, assume, you know, it's unassuming. This has been fascinating for me. So I really appreciate Even Realities for sending out this unit for me to review. I've loved it. I'm excited to keep them and to continue getting those software updates and see if they add things in the future, as well as keep up with the company to see what you know, future iterations look like. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and like this video for more. Watch this video next. I think you're going to love it. And I'll see you all in the next one.